Saying who was in. Hey, what's going on, Reef Keeper? Just seeing who's around on a Friday night. Hey, I see. Reef Keeper says, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we just got finished. Uh, yo, Legacy, Melvin, what's up, man? Yeah, we just got finished setting up. You got the filter? Let's see. You got the filter? Yeah, we just got finished setting up. It's our booth. SC is going to be our booth, babe. So I can't put on a filter so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. Well, you know us, we're the most unprofessional professionals you've ever seen. You guys were here to see the uh, growth. So, a very interesting uh, reef show. First time that uh, they let us basically drive a car in and uh, park right in front of your booth and uh, unload. Pretty nice. Salty ceramics. We're going to end up getting some of these. I don't know if you guys like it or not, but we're thinking about switching to these type plugs. I kind of like them. They look kind of cool. Corals kind of sit inside of this cup. It's pretty nice. This is Frost Booth. Ah, congratulations, Legacy. That's what's up, man. So, the video hasn't dropped yet, but what do you guys think about me using one of these for the new setup that I'm doing? It's going to be an 80-gallon deep blue. Yeah, Reef Keeper, unless you invest in a really nice, um, nice frag saw or something, they are really bit of a pain I think the worst ones are the aura frag plugs you know those are horrible but uh yeah I like these I mean they seem they seem like they'll be just as hard as any other one to cut off the frag plugs got fishy business here local LFS in the area checking out some of their clams yes sir Neo we are Put this on right here so you guys can see what's going on here. Yo, can't miss what's going on. There we go. Pretty cool. So it's between that ceramic stuff, and I've been really considering the uh, Carib Sea Life Rock. Maybe something like this because it's nice and low. Thinking about something like maybe doing that, I could possibly have... Um, Pretty nice low one. Pops corals here, another LFS. Pop the song so you guys see what's going on here. Got some clams, boys. I'm thinking about coming home with a clam today. Not those. Maybe those. Those are, eh, those are, yeah. And, um,. So, news to me, I found out that uh, apparently there's a lot of Walt Disney fakes out there. And these are some of the real Walt Disneys. And, uh, 
and I think um, I might end up picking up some of these guys as well. Just waiting for everything to get polyps out. I'll go back to our setup before. Lifeguard are pretty popular. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of stores still setting up. So, a lot of big, a um, lot of big companies are here. So this is the 16 foot projection screen. A uh, bunch of ads, YouTuber videos, anybody who's really um, participating and stuff in the show. We're gonna have a nice big ad played on there. Um, you guys might have seen ours on Facebook already, so it would be pretty cool. Um, some vendors are already set up and gone for the day. You know, coming back tonight around seven o'clock. So, so today's actually the VIP, man. And let me tell you what, we've sold quite a bit of our stock that we brought with us. And we've actually had to start requesting that uh, some of the people who bought our stuff kind of leave them in the tank <laughs> so that we actually look like we still have a bunch of stuff. I think we brought um, close to 500 frags, give or take. And uh, we've sold quite a bit. Yo, click clack, what's going on? Where are you, man? We're still waiting for you, bro. So, um, so guys, got bad news. See that? That was the Millipora colony. Not mine. Somebody's. Somebody's from the ocean. So this is uh, Ocean's Reef Project. So if you guys want to actually see how big some corals get, put it in perspective, this is my hand. Like I said, I'm not trying to make a dollar on it. You know what I mean? Some people buy stuff to try to find it. Yeah. I think I would just need a tank for this by itself. That's why that shows it's on market. I do my own work. Hey, we're going to be here. I just cracked the book. So, let's see. Where's the bar? So, what do you guys want to see? Somebody tell me what you want to see. Lounge area where you can come and have a seat. Nice couches. <sighs> the bar. So you guys can uh, take a sip and buy a coral. This is cheesy corals and I'm about to get run over by a car. Hold on one second, y'all. Cheesy corals, a lot of cool stuff here. Wards Aquatics, if you guys uh, are in the Carolina areas, you guys know these guys. And of course, Neptune. We'll be back here a little bit later. So uh, the Mustang is here for the burnout competition later. We're gonna see how burnouts affect corals. No, we're not. There's not gonna be a burnout competition. But it is a nice Mustang. Aquarium Specialty. I know you, a bunch of you guys order stuff from Aquarium Specialty all the time. <clears throat> so this is their booth. And these are some corals from their farm. I mean, so some of their coral offerings from the farm. So I'm doing this because Click Clack said, hey, Tristan, do a little live stream. And I said, okay, fine. I'll do a little live stream. So here are a bunch of things that I want to buy, but since I don't have any money, I'm not going to. There's Radions and Neros. <laughs> hey, Flashcan, where are you, man? I got your rock. So this place is huge and there's still about four hours of setup yet. There's still people driving in getting their stuff all set up which is kind of cool 
So uh, I believe a lot of people will be coming down through there, down here into the convention center. Bunch of setups still going on. Rod's food. You guys know what that is, right? Yeah, there's also Dirk's. If you guys have ever been to any show, you know Dirk's is probably there. So guys, uh, just know that tomorrow when the uh, show opens, we're going to be streaming live for the entire show. So I have my laptop set up, a giant TV set up, so that you guys can kind of see what's going on. Um, you guys will be able to see us. We might not be able to interact with you so much, but hopefully we'll have a bunch of people in there um, hanging out with us. Hey, DC, aren't you supposed to be down here tomorrow? Make sure you come and uh, hang out with us. I right, frag it. You guys know these guys. So they're set up and ready to go, done for the day. Jellyfish Warehouse. Some custom art. Now, these guys, these guys I don't know. The fish room. Kind of new to me. But they have a really nice setup. For sure, DC. You got to come and take a shot with us, man. We're going to have a bottle. Everyone who spends 100 bucks gets a shot of their choice. There are books to be read. All right. Don't forget, DC, I'm gonna hold you to that. We gotta go buy a bottle tonight. Spend a hundred bucks with TRC and get a shot. So we're back to our booth here. What's going on, Johan? So guys, if you guys don't know, since there's 17 of you right now, hmm, I'm trying to think of something I could do cool for you guys on the website. So we know a lot of you can't make it here. And we definitely want you guys to be able to buy some of our cool stuff. So uh, Chris is sitting here, SC, just guarding the booth. He's like, I'm ready to go to sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> it took forever to set up. <laughs> if one of my viewers comes and buys this calcium reactor, everything you need to get started, including pump, is 300 bucks. If, if one of my viewers comes in and says that they're subscribed to TRSC, 250 bucks you can have that for and if you're subscribed to my youtube i give you fido haha -ha. anybody got some bubble tips some biggins let's see what's going on can't see the chat, so I'm sorry if you guys are asking questions. <laughs> How do I see the chat? There we go. Thanks, DC. Yeah, somebody better come get it. But it's brand new, it's in the box. You know, you get brand new hoses, brand new regulator, brand new pump, brand new reactor, media to put inside of the reactor, and then we give you a bottle because nobody cares about the bottle. You're gonna get, your bottle's gonna get taken away the first time you go and refill it anyway. 250 bucks, good for up to, uh, what, 160, 175? Someone asked about carbon. Yes, we are running carbon. 
We are running carbon here. We're running biomedia there. Our flow is a high door. Pretty nice, just the right amount of flow to get everything open, kind of get everything moving. So I don't know anybody who's in the market for gold, uh, gold torches, but each of these has three heads on it. So I think gold hammers retail for 500 a head. Um, if one of you guys wants to buy it, you can have either one for 750 bucks. Three heads of a gold torch, Indo, Indo gold. And I don't know if you guys know it, but online right now, these are all Indo frammers. So they're a frog spawn crossed with a hammer. And uh, we only have six of these guys. Let me put on a filter. There we go. That should make things better. So these are forches, hammers and tor uh, sorry, frog spawn and torches. So what happens is that they kind of have the torch-like tentacles, but right on the end, they split just like that. And frammers... They look like hammers, but they also split on the end. See, just like that. Hard to find, not many around. Uh, we have a bunch online uh, for sale. I think we're selling what, 25 to 35 mm -hmm. ahead? So we're selling them 25 to 35 ahead online. Here we're selling them for right around. 40 to 50 bucks so if you guys want to get it online we understand that you guys are going to need to get some of this stuff shipped point this up away we understand you guys are going to need to get it shipped so we price it accordingly any of you guys that are going to be here tomorrow so these are utter chaos we got sunny d's we have a couple of other really nice um uh zoe is here as well um you guys let us know if you're a trc we're selling them for 40 you guys get it for 30 just let us know let us know that you're a subscriber and you get them 10 bucks off uh we couldn't leave without coming correct with a bunch of our signatures so typically at these shows we don't really sell too many sps we sell a lot of sps online so we kind of limit what we bring, but I did bring some stuff that a lot of folks would be interested in. You know, we got the bubblegum digis. We got <clears throat> some, let me see, TRC Hellboys. See those guys? Some Rose Millies. We got some Power Puffs here. I know Click Clack, one of these Power Puffs has your name on it. You need to come and tell me which one, buddy. Some other TRC signatures. We got some Garf Bonsai's here. Um, with the exception of the TRC Power Puffs, we're pretty much selling these things for anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks. You know, a frag. And they're not little, man. 40 bucks for that. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know what you guys are thinking you're gonna get, but they ain't babies. Big. Got a couple of cool Monty's. <clears throat> so if anybody wants some Sunset Mystic Montipora, we're selling them for 20 bucks a pop. You guys tell us that you're you're my subscriber or not tomorrow. You just gotta say it. You gotta show me. 10 bucks. And um what do you wanna do? You wanna do like um I think we could do three for seven. So you guys let us know what you want. You can take one of those, one of those, Rainbow one of those, 75 bucks. Got some Rainbow Acans now. Other vendors are charging right around, how much are they charging? 125 ahead. 60 bucks, 50 bucks, 30 bucks, 
sixty bucks. Yeah, we're not we're not on that one twenty five business. Rainbow A can you guys can see it. <clears throat> so this is our showing for this year, guys. Um, and we'll also we also have some of the stuff online, but I don't know if you guys are not subscribed to the newsletter, you might have missed some of it. <clears throat> um, we sold out of most of our SPS in around three days, and uh, at three days we sold out of the SPS, and then they started going after the ACANs because. I mean, we have frags online that's 20 bucks, guys. Frags online that is $12. And our shipping is only $39.99, so we make it worth your while. If somebody wants the world's, like, buku crazy elegance, uh, I don't even know how many heads. Punishing. His 250? Mouth, mouth moves. 250? No, 200. You're gonna give it to him for 200 I see? A subscriber, yeah. Really? Yeah. 50 off? Yeah, 50 off. Oh my God. This is why we don't mess around with this guy. He, he starts giving crazy prices and he hasn't even started drinking yet. <clears throat> Wait, I have it? No. The Punisher. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't look like the Punisher. That thing is bug looking. <laughs> that thing is bugged it's got out eyes looking, and man. Everything. Although I am kind of scared that he's right next to this this guy. I feel like we should move yeah, him over move one. Over, yeah. Dude, SC, I'm live streaming. I'm live streaming to the people. I got you. Look at this. Never used chopsticks in his life, boys. Look at the range just rolling through, man. <laughs> okay. We'll do a secret. Anybody who buys the Punisher, and uh, we're charging 50 bucks for the Punisher. Anybody who buys the Punisher can get, let me see. That's a free Sunset Monty, but you got to tell us. You got a free Sunset Monty, or you got a free cool candy cane? They're out. Questions. I'm gonna click that on. Click that on? What? The, the power head? Yeah, Alright, let me look take a look. Are you coming down to Carolina Reef Experience and Carolina Aquatics? Neo probably. <clears throat> Reef and Rican, what's up? Do we get 10 shots if we buy a G? Flash can, I'll buy you a bottle if you buy a G. Put me a frag aside. Got you, DC. Hey, show me Flash can's, um, his rock. So Flash can, you told me to bring you some rock. Hey man, that's, that's, not, our, that's not our proof, bro. It's not our proof. So Flash can says, Yo, I'm coming to the show. Can you bring me some rock? And I said, I got you, bro. So, flash can, this is your bottle. And it got critters in it. And it got sponges in it. So, this is kind of a, I guess, a demo of what our, our seed rock is going to be like. Tons of uh, coralline. This should be enough, right? All right. He says it looks good. All right. All right. So put that over there in the corner. That's waiting for you, flash can. We got the phytoplankton on top. Oh, we got it? All right. So you guys got to make sure that you support my, my, my young reefer here. I know Rico has his protege. I have this ankle biter that's valiantly working, lifting salt buckets here. Because he really wants to make enough money to buy these new sneakers that he wants. So uh, so he's working. Look at him. Look at him. He's working. Look, his mom doesn't believe me that he works when he comes there. We think he does it for the food, though, boys and ladies. 
My girl Lisa is here. Yeah, he does it for the food, but that that man is gonna be slinging Fido. Got the good stuff. We got the Nano. NC Fish Guy, that's a right around, I think, about eight pounds, eight to nine pounds. Um, pricing is gonna be, uh, I'll talk to you about the pricing. Um, just send me an email at uh, customer service at trcaquatics.com. We can get you, we can get you a little quote on it, but uh, it's not ready for prime time, guys. So please don't go uh, flooding me because um, I don't have, I don't have a ton of it ready to rock and roll to send out, but uh, it's reasonable. Let's just put it that way. Um, we're not trying to make you crazy. That's right, Reef Keeper. Work hard for the things that you want. And uh, just because we're colorful, we got rubber bands that look like our banner. <laughs> and in case we run out, we got those too, but we're going to use these first. So some of the stuff that we have available for sale is up there. They're all in here. Want to make sure everything we had in this video, we also brought here. But um, this is our flow. This is what we're doing, guys. This is uh, day one. So the doors aren't open yet, but you know the vendors are making a lot of trades and a lot of purchases around the place. So, um, so a lot of folks who've ordered from us before, we like bags. This show, we're gonna try something cool. You guys have uh, ordered from us before. You might've seen some of our, how our bags come. They come sealed. Um, so basically grab one of these guys, put a coral in it, stick it in there, press down, seals it, becomes an airtight pocket, no leaks. And then we double it up. So we would put a coral half in here, then put this bag inside of that bag and seal both, no leaks. To date, we have never had a leaking bag, which is commendable because we don't like leaks. Um, but yeah, questions? You guys got questions? Uh, let me have a seat because I'm going to be on my feet all day today. Uh, let's turn this around. Are you on the live stream? Join the live stream so I can see the questions. <laughs> What's going on, Thomas? He went that way. Hey, bring beer. <laughs> I got to put in my orders. So what do you guys want to know about the show? Or TRSC. I just spent $160 on the website. Brock Lowe, for spending $160 on the website, I'm going to throw something in special for you. Just go ahead and... Um, that's fine, leave it. No, 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 just um, send us a message. We'll do something. As a matter of fact, everybody who makes an order during this weekend, we're going to put something extra in the box for you. And unless you specifically ask for it, it won't be like a Sunset Monty. We'll do something nice like an A-Can or maybe a Rainbow A-Can. Maybe every order made this weekend. I do have a single gold-headed torch. Hey, Chris, do you think I should give away a single gold-headed torch and only the people who place orders on the website are eligible this weekend? Uh, thumbs up if you guys want me to do that. I could do that. I got a single gold-headed torch. 
and everybody who places an order from today through let's say today through Monday somebody's gonna win yeah, it's a whole lot of people watching they ain't say nothing yet though <laughs> So tomorrow, you guys are going to be up here. High up. Your view is going to be like that. So you'll be see us. You'll be see us selling. You'll see me and SC fight. You guys want to go see Trident? I'll go. I'll show you Trident. Hey, Chris, everything is a million dollars, all right? Don't sell anything for less than a million dollars. If you do, I won't pay for college. Look at his face. <laughs> there is a trident here. You guys want to see it? Let's go. Let's go look at the trident. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Neil, I use Premiere Pro. Ooh, they've covered down the Trident. See that? Look, it's covered down now. Underneath here is a Trident. So. If anybody wants to know what size the uh, alkalinity bottles are next to a polyp lab lens, that's about how big it is. Some other stuff they have. So Neptune is going to be here showing off the Trident. What's going on, Davis? So for the new build, I don't think I want to DIY another calcium reactor. Not a calcium reactor, a uh, sump. I don't think I want to DIY another one. And I'm really considering something like this. It's nice, kind of simple. You know, just one filter sock to replace. I mean, it's going to be mostly a soft and LPS tank, so, you know. And I want to say cheap, but I would say maybe affordable. So something like this would only be, uh, I think it's about 500 bucks, I think, for it. Um, probe holders, pretty nice. Media, it'll build up uh, nitrifying bacteria. Uh, Neo, Geos, I did check them out, uh, Neo, I did. Only problem is, is waiting. I don't wanna wait. I wanna go and buy it now so I can set up my tank right away. <laughs> I don't like to wait. I'm a very impatient, patient reefer. I'm, I'm, I'm patient for everything except for corals. So these are something new that I haven't seen before. Biotech Marine. They look pretty nice. I mean, this is their take and color on, uh, you know, kind of like the reactors that everyone knows, which is always uh, pretty nice. Uh, not something I would probably go for. I would probably go for maybe something like the uh, reactor that we're using in a frag tank right now. Just because it's really, really easy to maintenance. That's the thing. I, I hate any reactors that causes me grief in maintaining it. Hey, click clack if you're over here tonight, man. Remember the VIP party starts. So uh, let's see what else. This is uh, there's there's hey guys, it's a wild SC, and he's buying beer. Look, somebody made a spill. Somebody spilled. What are you getting, Chris? I know you better be getting one for me too. What you getting? Yeah, Yingling. Okay. Ooh. We just have to run it every time. We can't start tabs. Oh, gotcha. Oh, we can't start a tab? Oh, man. I'll try that. It's horrible. Uh, you want to try that or you want one of those again? 
No, no, I want an angry orchard. Oh, angry. I'm already drunk. Really? <laughs> no, I'm joking, bro. <laughs> so I'm a cheap date, guys. All I'm, all I'm getting is an angry orchard, you know? Supplements. I, there you go, method. These are supplements. These are reefer supplements. So they don't give us the bottles because they don't want us to get mad. Look at him. He didn't give me a look. Did you give me a look? Me? The live stream said you gave me a look. <laughs> Guys, did he really give me a look? Tell me if he gave me a look. Is it because I said I have a cheap date? That's what happened. He's like, oh, that's he's going to take advantage of this guy tonight. Oh, my God. So... This is cheaper than any bar I've been to. Reef smart, baby, reef smart. Reef smart. We can't open tabs, but we can drink ourselves silly. So let me ask you guys, whose idea is to offer alcohol and coral in the same place? You know, like, like whose wife, okay, whose wife, the live stream wants to know whose wife gave you guys permission to drink and shop for coral at the same he, no, this is on YouTube. But don't worry, I'm no, I'm nobody. I only have like, uh, okay. like two thousand subscribers. <laughs> oh, I'm not telling anybody anything. We're drinking juice. This is apple juice. Yeah. No, 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 no. Never tell them that. It, my audience is ninety percent men, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at these guys. They get to sit and drink. Pete, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Trust me. Trust me. So this is Grace. She hasn't collapsed yet. She's the organizer of this wonderful show, but she's uh, really busy. Hey, Grace. The live stream wants to know how long before you collapse. Tomorrow, at least. What you sipping on, Grace? Ah, oh, cheers. All right. So Miss Grace is gonna go ahead and try not to go crazy. Running around this place. Oh, we're gonna go crazy. It's gonna be good. What time do the doors open tonight for the VIPs? Seven o'clock. We've only got like 38 minutes. Whew, all right. Oh man, that's not a lot of time to get drunk, Grace. <laughs> uh, these guys will be familiar to everybody. Riptide Aquaculture. You know it's here at TRC, we don't care. It's corals, it's corals to us. So they do have some fire. Some things that I want for myself. And then I will grow it. And cry every time I cut it. To share with all of you. So, I don't know, this filter doesn't seem to want to work for whatever reason. But let's see. So you guys might notice that guy. We have, I think, two of those available on the site. A couple of jawbreakers. Lots and lots of zoas. I don't know any zoa files, but someone somewhere knows all of these. I don't, so I'm not even going to try. Then, of course, there are the A-cans. And then over here... The things that'll make you cry and clutch your purse in fear. Got a single gold torch back there. And the sticks, the stick crew. So I have this one here. I know what that one is. I think that's a worldwide corals, cherubalis or something like that. And uh, I, have more, I have this. I don't know what its name is anymore. I have that. Definitely got that. Everybody knows a Disney. But I got a couple of these. I got them down at Reefa. This is going to be pretty good. Carolina Aquatics over here. <clears throat> One of the uh, local vendors, uh, wholesalers. And uh, Gonzo's, haven't shopped here before, but 
check out those guys. Man, you know, I'm not a lover of flower pot corals or but when I see them like this, it really makes me want to try one. It really makes me want to try one. Ooh, the lights are going out, kids. The lights are going out. It's about to be a party. More sticks. Some nice sticks. Damn, some sticks that I really want. Holy sugar. It's getting real, boys. <sighs> Hopefully you guys can still see well. So I want to take you guys over to somebody Somebody very special to me. His name is Lewis Reef. And something that I really want. And girls. I'm gonna say and Tina. Look at that. That is a skull encrusted with a media shower sophastria. Actually, I think it's like two different types of sophastria on there. Hey Lewis, how many types of sophastria are on there? Like, is it two? It's just one? So that back morphing green is just natural? Holy crap. Well, that I've never seen before. So check this out. So the front is blue and orange. The back from the same colony turns green. Hey, how much? At least three. At least three. You like any of my endo 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 torches? <laughs> I, I like them, but uh, uh, I need to make some money first. I hear you. I hear <laughs> you. So hey guys, you guys heard it. So Lewis said if he makes us some money, we might be able to work out a trade, and I get that. I'll put that in my tank. You got one of those Moana thingies. Looks cool. That's going to be covered in so, Lewis, tell, tell everybody what you're going to specialize in tomorrow. What kind of deals you're running? I'm running any kind of deal. As long as it's reasonable, I'll work with you. Um, the more that you buy from me, the better deal I'm going to cut. You. All right. All you got to do is come. Come and check me out. So, Lewis is ready for that haggle game. And uh, I see what these are gobstoppers. I got gobstoppers. I got. Uh, Spicy lemon from uh, Jason Fox. I got pink boobies chalice. I got a rainbow chalice in there. You see it right I see here. Some on rastas. Eyes. I got rastas. I got all the chaoses. I got uh, stargazers. Where are your other chaoses? My eyes are broken. They're, oh, yeah. hold on. They're right there. Yeah, I see them. There you go. I got some stargazers. I got Jason Fox blind, mind blowing pallies. I got some crazy, crazy fobbies right there. Oh yeah. I got frog spawns, I got some hammers. And what time do doors open tomorrow? 12 noon, right? 11. Or 11? 11? 11, 11. 11 VIP, 12 to the rest of the audience. For everyone else. So, got Ghana too. I got Ghanis right here in the front. Look I got nuclear green ones too. And then Nuke I got a green. mink coral. Got some mints. Oh man. And I got some bounce acre. Alright, so these guys are gonna be checking you out. I got it. And I also got some nems too. Got some nems too. Got two nems back there. Those are uh, uh, flame. Flame, flame nems. Flame tip. So they're gonna be kind of like a palish reddish tentacles with a really bright orange, damn near neon orange um, tip. Really nice looking. All right, thanks, Lewis. They're playing with the light, man. They're getting disco up in here.
Have you crashed the website yet? Yeah. So. Hey, how about once an hour we make something very expensive 50% off on the website? I don't know. Find the most expensive thing on the website and once an hour make it 50% off with free shipping. <laughs> you guys want us to do that? I, mean, I came over here because they turned off the lights and I wanted everybody to see our disco. 30 minutes, right? Uh, 30 minutes, the VIPs are going to be here, boys and ladies and Tina and Lisa and uh, we're gonna have to like do work and stuff real nice kitchen set over here perfect for uh, you know placing all of our bagging material it's gonna be great hey Brock anything you add Hey, Brock, send me an email. Anything you add to your cart, um, take 10% off since you ordered. And just let me, just send me an email, customer service at trcaquatics.com. And uh, we'll make sure I, I email you back with a coupon code to use. Did you guys know that skull with this media shower sophastria on it? Right there. I want to plant green star polyps on mine. Neo Baldovino. I don't know that I can hold them for you because we're. Hmm. 10% of already sold. But what I can do is if you send me an email at customer service at trcaquatics.com, I will send you a coupon to use, and any A can you order on our website is going to be 10% off for you. Because a lot of stuff we have here, we definitely have on the site already as well. We only took half. We only took half of what we had online. So. There we go. Look at this. Coolest presentation ever. Of shrimps. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get like 10. Cause that's how much I need to be able to see one in 350 gallons. I'll never see it otherwise. And maybe one of those orange linkies, since literally no other vendor has one that I've seen so far. And you know what's funny? A couple of minutes ago, all frosts anemones started banging. And now they're cool again. That's a real G. Let me tell you something. That's a real G. These two, they started uh, falling in love, started, you know, doing the horizontal mambo in there. And I mean, you guys have seen Frost before. Rico has definitely shown a lot of his stuff. Awesome, awesome corals, awesome prices. Even got some baby elegances back there. Look at that. And some torches. Put this on so you guys can see these torches. There we go. Torches. And this literally looks like somebody threw up Skittles inside of a bucket. I wish I could buy all of them and just put it just like this in my reef. But then I'll probably have a million 
baby anemones all over the place. <laughs> That's maze balls. Um, there's something that'll kill you. I always like to find the things that'll kill me. Don't know why. Then uh, got anemones. And here we go. The eight cans. The really cool shrooms. We got a couple of these as well, but I have to give Frost credit. He has way more than we do. Rounding out. We got some uh, more Zos. We got the Scully Army. More of the uh, Recordias and Ghanis. And then the most perfect single headed A cans that I've ever seen. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, anyone want to learn about Aqua Roche? Aqua Roche. Aqua Roche. Scott Smith, this is in Raleigh, North Carolina at Reef Smart. So, we have a bunch of folks watching. Uh -oh. I want to put you on a spot. Oh, no. So that you could tell us about Aqua Roche. Absolutely. Because they, uh, they say it like I say Target. But uh, can you tell us a little bit about Aqua Roche? First, who are you? I'm Janet. Hi, I, Janet. I work with Aquarium Partners. Aquarium Partners is the distributor for Ellos and for Aqua Rocher. All right. Aqua Rocher is a company from France. Each piece is individually handmade, handcrafted in France. Company has been in business for 35 years. This is a ceramic material. It's fired to a very high degree. So you can put it directly into your tank with no change in water chemistry. No change in water chemistry, guys. So for everyone who likes to pop and drop, you can literally set up your tank today and drop this in your tank with no changes to water chemistry. 20 gallon nano, one and done, basically. One and done. So what I found was really unique about this product and why I'm actually considering it for my, for my build is that, there, she just did it, just like that. So basically, what'll happen is that they've kind of designed it in some weird way where you can actually just slip these little pieces in and it kind of locks in kind of weird. Let me show you right here. It locks in. I'm really terrible at this, but it locks in and it's actually it's really stable. Really isn't it? stable. You know, and you know, what, what I like about this is uh, if you guys are following CJ's build and Rico's build, you know, CJ used um, the aquifer stuff to kind of lock his rock together. But with this, you know, I can actually take out pieces of my rock. So if I put an SPS frag on here and I want to frag it, I could actually just chop out, take out the whole little piece without really disturbing my aquascape in general. Sure. You know, and, and that's what's really cool about it. And you know what's funny about this stuff? Is that it is super porous. I, I'm looking at it right now. And um, so this rock here, I would say, is the equivalent of maybe five pounds but it is so light that i feel like this probably weighs maybe one and a half pounds at the most maybe yeah maybe one maybe. and a half pounds because it's so light one of the big benefits is because of the porosity the porosity is going to allow the beneficial bacteria to grow right in your tank all right so clean rock easy to aquascape and you can pretty much mix and match these guys together, Absolutely. right? So you can take this guy here and put it on there. You can get a, a couple of, uh, what uh, Janet was telling me was, um, 
each piece is handmade right in france so that even though if you got two same exact skews they're going to be slightly different than each other and for that reason you, you can pretty much if you're if you're sure about what kind of a skew that you want you really want to try and um get something so here's an example of these two pieces are the same. so same these skew. so this piece here is the same exact as this skew but you can definitely tell that there are significant differences first of all right here on the top you can kind of see that it is uh you know it's kind of wider here and over here it's a little bit flatter this one here has looks like maybe two places for corals this one here has like three places for corals and what i like about it is if you can look these little holes and those holes are there so that when you put this together they're actually little pegs that you can peg and put in there to build this up or you could use any kind of fiberglass rod or you can use any kind of fiberglass rod let's look at the one at the bottom the end down here okay let's take a look okay yeah, thank you. This is a kit. So this is a kit that she's showing me right now. If you it's, it's like an erector set. You just yeah. put it together. So let's say we want to have this piece over here instead. That. It's got these. Look at those. Aren't those cool? Yeah, let it peg. They're already little, pegged and ready to go. These you could put a coral on or an anemone or... Anything that wants to kind of root their foot in a hole somewhere and show off what they're doing. Clams. Clams as well. So so let me ask you this. Like, what's the, what's the entry level price for this, you know? Because live rock is kind of the... Fu uh, sorry. Dry rock is kind of the future of the hobby because live rock is not available anymore. So have you guys kind of priced this competitively to compete with some of the other guys out there? It's priced very competitively. Um, for instance, give me just a second. I'll sure. Grab my... We're going to find out the prices, boys and ladies and girls. So she's not lying to me. It should be right there. Okay. What's the after... What's this one for? Um, that's the 9710. 9710, yes. What, the price? Yes. You didn't put... <laughs> All right, we'll ignore that one. We'll go to another one here. All right. This one right here, this is a 9306, and the map pricing on it is 130. Okay, so guys, you can expect for... Now, now I'll be honest with you. <laughs> She kind of caught me by surprise there. Um, I thought I was going to get her, boys and ladies, but uh, she got me instead. So you're looking about maybe 35, 40 pounds, you know, maybe 35 pounds, maybe 20, 30 pounds of rock here because it's not very heavy. But uh, actually, that is pretty heavy. But but uh, 130 bucks for this. It's it's ready to go. That's less than five dollars a pound it's, it's less yeah mo it's 130 In, bucks it's less than five bucks a pound with a comparable rock with with comparable rock and it's li i can tell you right now it's lighter than real reef rock number one um it kind of feels like cotton candy a little bit because it's very <laughs> fluffy but you it's know not fragile. But, but it's not fragile it's, not, it's, it's pretty hard you know but um but you know unlike real reef rock where it has that kind of like that painting above it but you can kind of see into it here and i'm getting really close so you guys can see what's going on here and i don't think something like this would take very long to actually um to colonize with bacteria which is pretty amazing and um to be honest with you i think i'm really considering this now for for my for my build um i think it'd be pretty cool it's been a while since i started a tank without real reef rock or without you know substitute rock for my big display but um I, I really like this modularity right here and i think it's pretty cool and um for you guys with bigger tanks just in case you didn't see it so check this out from the top look from the top so check this out from the top it's technically an overflow cover it's technically an overflow cover so what you guys are seeing right here which looks like one structure it's actually, watch this. This will blow you guys' mind. 
It's actually multiple pieces. It's two pieces. And what? look what she just did. And it's locked in. It's pretty. And it's pretty dang sturdy. And the bottom is flat. For you guys that want to like silicone this down to the bottom of your tank or something like that. Or you're worried about stuff getting on there. It's flat. She, she literally built this entire rockscape here in like 10 minutes and watch this that's it and you put it back in oh so if you don't and like it's locked it, you can put that piece there oh let's do it this way and make it a little longer and it's I, I'm, I'm really giving it some good one guys i'm really sh i'm shaking a whole table here and it's not moving so couple that with some putty or after some coraline grows and uh, you're pretty much golden uh, I'm getting low for those of you who can't do aquascaping for those of you who can't do aquascaping this seems to be your product yes, this is small tank one piece, <laughs> you're done now let me show you guys the Rolls Royce this bad boy right here so let me get this straight is is aqua roche an elos company no or? they are um they've been in business like i said 35 years doing this in europe uh, it's sometimes difficult to get a product into europe and have continual distribution on it and that's basically what we've done with uh aquarium partners and elos is we've given them the vehicle to have the product here all the time awesome so guys this stuff actually moves pretty fast as, as i was actually talking to her about getting something like this for my new build she's telling me that listen tell me what you want you're probably not going to make it for this round but for the next round for the next shipment you know uh you might not actually get uh you might actually get in there so i'm actually i mean <laughs> look at that this is like the freaking rolls royce of live rock here and you put it together like in a record, like an erector set. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like it, you change it. Yeah, if you don't like it, you change it. So you can pretty much buy multiple kits and put it all together for yourself and uh, kind of build it up. So it's actually really, really, really nice. Um, see, we have five of these on here. So there's actually only five uh, of those pieces on it. And each of these pieces, you can just lift it up and remove it away from the rest of the structure. And we sell separately, too, if you'd rather, if you want to just buy pieces. So you can actually buy those pieces separately. Now, 75. you guys saw her do that, right? Like, this should weigh a ton. And it doesn't. It is stupid light. It is stupid light. I, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain that. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm clumsy. I can't fix this thing. Look, she does it so easy. Now I'm messing with it. <laughs> now she's messing with it. That is an impossible overhang to achieve without some very creative putty. Base piece on this, the um, mat price on it is $260 on the base piece. These pieces are $15 a piece. So, so I have five. This... <laughs> it's fifteen dollars. Yeah. And the entire main piece, which probably looks like forty to fifty pounds of live rock, is two hundred and sixty bucks. So uh, if you guys come here to Reef Smart tomorrow, definitely find Janet. Tell her Tristan's Reef sent you. Awesome. And she's gonna take care of you guys on getting a really awesome aquascape together for your tank. Again, this is Aqua Roche. And this is Janet. Hi there. And this is their product. It's pre pretty cool stuff, guys. I wanted to make sure I showed you guys. Oh, what do you guys got? Food? You know, Ellos has been in business a long time also. Ellos has been in business for over 20 years. And we were the very first company to ever do amino acids. Ever. Really? So everybody who's using, uh, um, you know, what is it? Um, you know, Red Sea color program amino acids and uh, uh, what's, the, what's the other stuff called? Um, there's, there's several yeah, out there. Yeah, a bunch several of them out there. Yeah. We were the first company to do 
first company ever. We were the first company to ever do a rimless tank. We were the first company to ever do an LED light. And wow. there are several other on and on firsts. Wow. From LOs. So what are you going to show me today? Well, we have incredible test kits. Our test kits are very competitive, uh, competitively light. Very easy to use. They all come with uh, written, plus they have graphics. Here's some easy graphics. Nice. Um, so Tina says... She's loving that aquascape material. It makes her want to tear down her tank down and rebuild. We'll help her. <laughs> there's no cure time on the rock. Janet says that she will help you, and there's no cure time on the rock, Tina. So it is a pop and drop. <laughs> you can order. I think you can order from our website. Yes. So you can order from the website. Yes, and if not, it's going to be up there pretty soon. Okay, cool. It'll be up there pretty soon. So I did see this at Reef Smart, and this is yes. the food. Yes. Now, here's the thing. Okay. I make my own food. Okay. I've, I've never been a huge fan of dry foods. But I see you have like one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven different dry foods there. I can't count, guys. Right. I'm, I'm getting there right now. But all of these dry foods here... Do you mix them all together? Do you feed them, you know, specifically? Like, what makes them these special? Are, these are different sizes, okay? Different and sizes. When you get to this one, it's powdered. It's, a, it's everybody's Corals. kind of followed us on doing a powdered food okay. with beneficial bacteria. Um, we have beta glucans, which is a prebiotic in our product. Um, these are more different size foods for different size fish. Things. Gotcha. Gotcha. So the different types of foods are for different sizes or for the different fish, a different size fish. Now, how would you say this food is with, you know, contaminating your water? You know, um, it's no phosphate there. How about nitrates? I got her, guys. I got no, her. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to nitrate. Nitrate has to do with the amount you feed. Nitrate has to do with the amount you feed. So that's a good answer. If, so basically you're saying if you overfeed, obviously you're going to have a nitrate problem. You're going to feed bacteria. But well, if you feed also, normally... There's, there's so many things that are involved in, in nitrates. Do you have good nitrifying bacteria? Mm -hmm. Do you have a place to keep nitrifying bacteria? Like good live rock or rock that's really porous. Wow. Or like marine pure. So now one of the things that okay, someone asked in the chat... Marine Pure. So, as you guys know, a lot of folks have been sending in their ICP tests, right? And uh, they've been coming back with uh, levels of aluminum. So, why, why are people seeing aluminum? Is that common? Is it normal? Aluminum is not coming from the Marine Pure. It's not coming from the Marine Pure. For instance, and if you, I'm going to reference Randy Holmes Farley did a, I don't have the exact, but if you look up Randy Holmes Farley, um, aluminum. Mm -hmm. It'll talk to you, it'll tell you about it, and it also lists, like, uh, instant ocean salt has 110 parts per million. Of aluminum? Of aluminum. Wow, I did not know that. Did you guys okay. on the chat know that? <laughs> Everything has aluminum. Okay. And it could be, there's many variables. It could be that you just changed your water, and so now you may have an elevated level depending upon what's going on, but that's not that it's harmful. Mm -hmm. Um, the alumina silicate that is used to make marine pure is fired. So it's it, all the ingredients are combined and they're fired at a very high temperature and they're bound kind of like a coffee cup. Okay. Okay. When you break a coffee cup down, it doesn't break back down into its chemical components. You might get pieces, but that's not going to leach any aluminum. Gotcha. Gotcha. So does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense. So it, it would explain why a lot of people might have been getting those readings. And uh, of course, there's no hobby grade aluminum testing kit. So you would kind of need something like an ICP test to tell you. But then you kind of see a bunch of other things that you didn't know you had either. And, and you kind of get you know, questions about it. So one of the other questions that, that folks uh, wanted to know is about it breaking down. So a lot of folks have kind of said that, uh, you know, I put it in my tank, it was great for a while. And then I started seeing it kind of like crunch up a little bit, kind of break down a little bit. Now, I have always said that I attribute that to just wear and tear on it. Water's banging on it, your hands Ooh, are in it or absolutely. something like that. Here's, here's a, 
when you use it, the spears are less likely to, um, I don't want to say break down, but they're less likely to crush. Gotcha. If you have, let's say, the block, which is a little bit more porous in a high flow area, and you have something beating, you have the water, the flow coming right down on top of it, of course it's going to eventually wear it away, like it would a rock. Gotcha. If you had rocks in there, it would do the same thing. Um, but generally, we want to keep the plates and the blocks in a lower flow area mm -hmm. because the blocks are really good for anaerobic bacteria. That needs to be in an anoxic or no oxygen uh, environment. Okay. Okay. You want more flow in areas where you want to do your aerobic bacteria. So what you're saying is that I would I would need to put the blocks right here in an area where it's pretty much low flow say after my refugium after my filter socks and water dumping in into into my sump and uh if i wanted to do uh you said anaerobic bacteria right yes then i would use these these spheres these are, instead no, these are for aerobic aerobic bacteria aerobic gotcha oxygen and oxygen environment okay. okay so that's right after my overflow okay. dumping into my water and those are anaerobic yep. so low flow and this will deal with a little bit higher of flow, flow. Yes. higher flow. So, guys, we've been using it all wrong. That's, that's what's going on, right? Janet just told me. I, I just uh, learned something now. A, a lot of it has, there's a lot of the information with at the stores, you need to ask them about it. They should know this. Okay. It's, it's very logical. And if they don't know, then just ask Janet. Just ask Janet. You guys heard that? Just ask Janet. Yeah, I woke in. That is correct. Janet is dropping that knowledge. I never knew that. I've been using this all wrong because I put this block right after my uh, my drain thinking, oh, that's the best water flow. More water is going to flow through it. I really, I should have been putting this like before my return, in in, you know, in, in the low flow environment. You know where this works really well? As a skimmerizer. As a skimmerizer? Yes. Nice. Just about, it's about four inches. About right four inches. Skimmer fits right on top of it. It's a low flow area usually. So if anybody needs to buy, instead of buying an acrylic skimmerizer, just get yourself some Marine Pure BioBlocks, drop it on top, and you'll be golden, guys. I mean, come on. You save it. You get something that's going to uh, filter your water really well, and you get a skimmerizer. Two in one. Here's an interesting fact. One block we recommend will do 100 gallons of salt water, no rock, no sand, no other biofilter. Okay, Janet, you're telling me that one of those, yes, I can provides, run it. I can run it on a 100 gallon frag system. Provides all your all the filtration you need, all the all the uh, biofiltration. All right, boys, it's over. I'm gonna I gotta get like three of those and a bunch of this, and I'm golden. Janet, you sold me. But I really like to appreciate your time. Thank okay. you so I much. I want to show you one Ooh. more thing. You know, we always have to look at these. All right. Are these new? For th these are new. For those of you who have nano tanks or that got little tanks that are fresh water that have hang on the backs or something like that, these actually lock in together. This package does 70 gallons salt water. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, I'm a dummy because I should have had some of those to put inside of our filter right now. But instead, we got a bunch of these in the back of our hang on the back filter. And um, yeah, I know, I kind of like these better for nano tanks. So, DC and CJ and Rico, all you guys that are looking for, how much is a smaller media, they're asking? The, I think the retail is, is $14. 14 bucks, and this'll do, this in my hand, will do 70 gallons? Yes. This, this, this is all yeah. the filtration you need for 70 gallons. Look, it's even on the box. 70 gallons, right there. And she has show prices. I do. So, Janet, what are our show prices like? Uh, the gems, it's about, I'm going to say it's about a 15% discount off of the matte pricing. So, if you guys come here to Reef Smart tomorrow and you order and you get some of this stuff, you're looking at about roughly a 15% discount for getting this stuff here and we'll even tell you where to put them and in janet system. will even tell you where to put them in your system i don't think you can uh go wrong with that janet thank you so much for all of your help thank it's you. been very informative enjoy the rest of the show i will enjoy the rest of the flow now i have to come back here and choose which one of these badass thingies i want to buy to put inside of the uh 
80 gallon. Look at that. So they finally turn off all the lights, boys. All right, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Oh, now they turn back on the lights. What the? I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Let me see here. And they turned it off again. Hold on. All right, I'm back, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen and everyone. SC told me to come back to the booth because I can't go around and start talking to people anymore. Apparently, I have to, like, work and stuff now. See, this is the kind of slave driver this guy is. That's right. Oh, boy. So, for all of you guys, let me see. So, all of you guys on the live stream, uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we will be live streaming again very early tomorrow. As soon as we set up SC right here. Um, the boy. Just call him the boy. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to be hanging out here all night tonight. Maybe uh, maybe we'll start up the live stream again to uh, show off some more shenanigans as they uh, happen. But thank you guys for joining us. And don't forget, if you place an order this weekend, send an email to customer service at trcaquatics.com. And we're going to make sure we put something nice in there for you, right? Um, everybody who places an order this weekend, get something cool. And uh, if SC will allow me to, We'll uh, put everybody's name in a hat that makes an order this weekend, and uh, we'll see about getting something really nice. But uh, thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care, and...